Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for stopping by and checking out this video. It's my, um, the most requested and the most uh, wanted to film video, my entire handbag collection that um, I had in mind to do it for a very, very long time and I've just never got round to do it. And um, all the bags that you see have been, um, been purchased by myself or been gifted to me by my family and my husband. Um, they all um, have not been bought <laughs> over a few months. I've been buying and selling for about eight or nine years now. So, um, so yeah, that's what I've got and I hope you like it. And let's start because it's going to be quite a long video. So I'm going to start in the order of uh, me buying the bag or me getting the bag to the most recent purchases. Some of the bags that I can find, or if they are classic, I'll obviously link it down below. I will mention the investment value in each of the bags, and I'll mention um, how much I like it or how much I don't like it. If there's anything I'm considering selling, I'll, I'll mention that as well. So let's begin. So number one is this bag, and it's um, this bag, I think it's about eight or, um, eight or nine years old, it's a Michael Kors bag. It's like a, a shoulder bag, all leather. The only detail is this Michael Kors, and that's the only Michael Kors bag I own. Um, I bought it in uh, House of Fraser in Manchester, and um, I think I've paid about £200 for this bag. So um, I've used it um, a long time. It, it looks a little bit worse for wear. I can, I can definitely see signs of wear here and the leather is not as pristine as it was. Um, yeah, it, I still like it. It's a it's very, very comfortable bag. I probably will consider selling this bag um, in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Um, if I ever sell, I sell off um, Bestia Collective. I've been recommending that website. The logo is a little bit scratched as well. So yeah, I probably let this bag go, but um, it's been a really, really good bag for um, quite a few years or years to, you know, I've, I've used it fair bit. And, um, and yeah, I've never noticed that this starts to sort of chip as well. So yeah, it's not in a perfect condition, but it's fairly, fairly usable. And I loved it. The quality of the leather is really good. I'm not a huge fan of Michael Kors bag, especially the new edition, but um, I think this one was a really, really good investment. So that's my number one first ever designer bag. And the second is this one. And this one is crossbody, a long strap, a single compartment bag. I normally keep my bag um, stuffed and in a dust bag. And I got this bag, this is like a first, first ever designer, designer bag. And I got this one in Leeds, in the Mulberry Boutique. I remember exactly that I've paid £395 for it. And at the time, it seemed like absolute fortune. It's still a lot of money, but now I don't think you'll get a Mulberry bag for that money. And um, it's a well-loved and well-used bag. The quality of the weather is uh, well, weather leather is absolutely undistractable. And um, it's got a few scratches. It's an old-styled mulberry logo. But yeah, I love this bag, and I don't think I will ever part my ways with this bag. I will, I will wear it now and again, but I don't wear it that much. Uh, but it's a very, very comfortable bag, crossbody. Um, yeah, the leather got scratched in a few places or, you know, uh, after wearing it for so long. But um, I still think it was one of my best ever investments for, for the money. Um, definitely money well spent. So that's number two. Number three. I think number three was this one. Uh, number three was this one. Let me... Let me get this one for you. So that was the um, Louis Vuitton Speedy in monogram, uh, classic. I think it's size 35, so it's fairly, fairly large. It's not staff at all. It's a very light bag. Um, there are pros and cons to Speedies. Um, this is the cheapest, obviously, 
used to be the cheapest. I think it's still one of the cheapest Louis Vuitton bags. And for the money, I, I think I've paid just over £400 for it. It must have been 2010 or 2011 when I bought it. And yeah, it's, you know, it's kept its shape quite well. Um, the canvas is absolutely, you know, no issues, no marks. The leather got darker, but not like um, remarkably darker. The only thing is the um, hardware on the chain, on the on the lock and, and the keys particularly didn't wear that well. The rest is fine and um, inside it's a big massive compartment, just one big compartment and there's a little like a, a pocket um, on the side as well. Th there are pros and cons. I think it's in a really good starter bag and um, I would definitely change it by adding the sort of a structure um, bottom because it can be quite annoying when the bag does not keep its shape that well. Um, they are they gone massively in price. I think this size is now in excess of um, eight hundred pounds, which I find well, yeah. But Louis Vuitton do go in prices, so I, would, I definitely think that they are definitely worth investing in. And and yeah, the the quality is, is there. And um, if I ever have children or if I ever have any any girls, I think this will be the bag that I'm going to gift it to my par uh, to my children. So um, so yeah, definitely, definitely uh, a long time favorite. It doesn't come with a strap. There is a version that comes with a strap. I wanted a top handle, and I still like it. Um, yeah, that's it. So that's Louis Vuitton. So that was the third bag. The fourth, I think it was this one, and this one came soon after. So these are two clutches, like a box clutches by Dan von Fristenberg. They were exceptionally good value for money. So I think I got this one off, um, I'm sure it was Outnet. And um, it does come with a chain as well. It does come with a chain, but I never wear it um, on a, on on the shoulder. I always wear it um, in my hand. And this one, I love, love, love this detail, the closure. Very bright, but with a right outfit, it does definitely stand out. I think it, it it's very light clutch as well. It was about two hundred pounds. Um, awesome, absolutely awesome. They've discontinued them. I don't know why but um, I don't think I'll ever sell it. I do love, love, love this clutch. And after I got this one, I got this um, other one as well. So this one is Diane von Fristenberg as well. It's um, It's got like two bubbles here. I love this one. And this one is slightly more used than the other one. Comes with a silver, silver strap. Um, you can see signs of wear, or especially on the closure. Um, but yeah, I, I do love this clutch and I use it all the time. The, it, the, the only negative is because the, these metal uh, pieces are so heavy, it tends to sort of swing the bag, so you cannot just leave it like a flat, it will fall. But um, that's just a small negative. Um, I've checked and I even have, the, have a ticket. And this one, it was two, I don't know whether it will focus. Two hundred and nine pounds, a sphere, sphere, sphere metallic tweet clutch, and so this was was two o nine. Um, don't think you'll get a, a clutch for that nowadays. And this one, is there a, a prize? And, uh, no, I think this one was more or less the same uh, money, but absolutely love this, love these two. So they were number. Three four and five, one, two, three, four and five, number six, I think number six was this one, so this one is much heavier because that's the one I'm currently using, and that's another one but Louis Vuitton, it's the um, Damier, it's never full, MM size in Damier, Ben, Ben, I think that's how you say it. This one's got a red lining and it's a classic. It's got full off, it's got some of my stuff for work and my wallet and, and yeah. Um, I've never noticed that. There's some sort of a mark on the, on the lock. 
it's got much dirt, dirt here. I'll see if I can remove that. But anyway, so um, so yeah, I got this bag. Um, I think 2012, 2011, 2012. I paid, and um, definitely I paid under to 500 pounds. And nowadays they are in excess of 800 pounds. Mine is the older style, um, and it doesn't come with the um, the newer style. Comes with like a pouch, um, which is removable, and that I think it's a really nice addition. Um, it's if you were investing in one of the Louis Vuitton bags, I would definitely say go for this one, regardless of what canvas you you prefer. Um, I've chosen this one, and I'm happy with my choice. And um, if I was to choose another one, I would probably go with the same pattern, but it's Damier uh, in, is it Azure, the um, name sort of greyish white one, um, with a probably pink lining. Um, absolutely amazing bag, amazing for travel, amazing for every day, for work, light. Uh, you can sort of close it um, like this, so you can just make it, um, completely different shape if you wish i don't tend to wear it like this but it's if you use a public transport and you want to make the bag more secure you can do that as well so yeah absolutely love 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 this bag served well um, absolutely no damage i've used it tons and tons and tons so yeah um a long time favorite of mine and number Number six, I think I've lost track, which was number six. I think it was this one. Yeah, I think it was this one. So this one is, I call it my driving license, uh, Mulberry. So it's a Mulberry Hobo bag um, in a very similar um, leather. Um, it's got, you know, like Mulberry tree here and the, the Mulberry um, in the front as well. Very understated bag. Um, fit tons, absolutely perfect for work. I love it for traveling as well. Very, very comfortable. I think I paid about £595 and I think I bought it about a year, year and a half after I bought this one. So definitely you can see um, already slightly difference in price. I bought it in House of Fraser in Leeds. Um, as a gift to myself for passing driving a uh, li driving license test um, it's got a classic um, canvas or uh, sort of linen material um, used it a fair bit love this bag not going to pad my waist with it yeah nothing else to say uh, so that was number seven number eight number eight um, I'm not sure I think, I think it was a Prada. Um, I think it was a Prada bag. So I got this bag. Everything's falling. Um, so I got this bag uh, in Vista Village. Um, I got it um, in the outlet. So it was discounted in price. I think I've paid about £600 uh, for it. Uh, Prada bags have... Um, um, are famous for sometimes fold sometimes not as much attention to details and quality i personally disagree um i had this bag for a um, number of years about five five years easily and the quality of the leather is absolutely exceptional not a single scratch not a single scratch on the hardware um, it's got a massive compartment uh, it can be worn um, as a top handle, it can be one on the shoulder, it can be one crossbody. Perfect for work, like it for traveling as well. Yeah, really good bag. I think you can still get it in Vista Village in variety of colors, variety of leather textures. Uh, mine is smooth, but you can get grainy leather, you can get canvas, you can get, yeah, you can get so many different options. Um, I, I personally really like this bag, so I'm not staying with me not going to pad my waist. Um, next one. I think it will be the Chanel. Um, so it was my first Chanel bag. Um, I got it in um, Selfridges in Manchester. It was a limited edition um, flap. That's why the price is slightly lower, or it was much lower than, was I think about a thousand pounds less than the uh, classic um, Chanel. 
Um, it's in a sort of a, it's a caviar, but it's like a, like a shiny caviar, ruthenium hardware. Um, it's a single flap. It's um, slightly bigger than a normal, um, say it's more or less like a jumbo size, but it's much flatter in here because it's a sim single flat um, flap. And the inside is um, canvas, it's not leather, so that's why it was much cheaper. Um, nowadays, for um, it's got obviously Chanel um, markings here. Um, nowadays, these kind of bags will will be in excess of three thousand pounds. I paid I think under two thousand, so I think it was still a good um, good money. Um, if I was to ever invest in, in a classic Chanel flap, I probably will part my ways with this one. Um, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I do like it. I do like it. It is quite good for traveling as well. Um, because you can wear it crossbody, you can wear it on your shoulder. It's got, you know, enough, long enough um, strap to do that. I don't think it was the best investment bag I've ever made, but it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. So definitely um, stays with me for now. Uh, the next one, number nine or ten, I, I don't know. I lost my track. I think, I'm not sure. I think it would be Louis Vuitton, another Louis Vuitton. And that's the, probably my favorite of Louis Vuitton bags. It's the um, artsy bag in the classic canvas um, I love the handle so it's a top handle you can wear it on your shoulder as well um, it's got this charm I love the inside because inside is like a, a smooth velvety material I'm not sure if it's leather but um, yeah you can definitely tell the quality difference so this one was much pricier I think um, it was about 1100 um, pounds um, they gone in price about at least two, three hundred pounds easily. Um, it was a good investment. It's got you know these um, things to prevent it going on the floor, and and yeah, it's an extremely comfortable bag, exceptionally made bag. It's probably my best made bag ever. The attention to detail is just just absolutely stunning, and um, I love how it feels. I love how it looks. It's fairly light. Yeah probably one of my favorite bags ever much more expensive than Neverfull but um, I, do, I just love it it's a statement bag obviously it's got lug all over but because I wear quite plain outfits apart from what I'm wearing today um, yeah it goes so yeah absolutely love 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 and uh, then I think the same year as I got this one I got this one so this one I got as a, a Christmas Christmas present from my husband and it's the last of the mulberry um, bags this one is the base water in a dark grey color with the um, silver um, hardware um, I had another mulberry which was the open uh, mulberry base water which was like a toad and um, it didn't have a flap it had a chair um, it had a closure here I've sold that and I've sold another of the mulberries I got in a York outlet and um, this one I, I have no intention of selling it's an exceptional wear bag um, it's um, I don't wear it enough probably um, I love the interior it's it's very raw inside but um, somehow it works. I love the quality, the leather, the hardware. Um, yeah, pretty much everything about it. And it was a gift as well from my husband. So um, I do do love it and, and I have no intention in parting my ways. I think Bayswater, they, they are revamping the style, but I just I just love the classic one. And, and yeah, I love because it's grey as well. So yeah. Um, so that is it and then the very um, soon after this one uh, we went to a Bista village and we was we were going on holiday and I went to Anya Hidma, Hidmach, Hidmach um, outlet in Bista village and I got this straw bag I can just see how the colors are fading a little bit uh, because of this one as well because of the sun but yeah it's an exceptionally, exceptionally well-made uh, beach bag because it's got a lining, it's got a, 
um, Anya um, hit match logos and and yeah I think originally it was about 500 pounds and I think I've just paid well over I think it was about 150 pounds I've paid for this bag and I will use it tops I take it on all my summer holidays it does fade <laughs> I, I didn't realize how much it faded but yeah I just I guess it's a beauty of these things I love the rough edges and and yeah extremely comfortable bag I think the sun is just ah, the lighting is all over the place but yeah love 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 this bag and um, absolutely staying with me so that's number I don't know I think 11 number 12 or oh, number 11 uh, I think it's this one it's a, a bag that probably I've searched for the most. It's the Todd's um, Destyling. I think it's called Destyling. Um, when I saw it on Kate Middleton, I saw it on Kate Middleton, uh, I saw the grey one and I absolutely fallen in love. And uh, they were sold out. I even wrote to Todd's to see if they have any in stock online. They say if they are sold out, they are sold out. And then I was in Vista Village again and um, there was absolutely none of display. And I've asked, um, would you happen to have any? And they just say, oh, let me have a look. And they brought two, um, this one and the orange one. And now I'm regretting I didn't get both. And originally it was well over £1,000 and I've paid about £600 for it. So I was really, really chuffed. And I still love it. Um, I don't use it that much and they've uh, revamped it and brought it in new style. But um, I sort of prefer the older style. Um, the quality of the leather is, is, is exceptional, but it's very, very smooth leather. And I did mark it. Somebody put a chair on all over the, the leather but I think I I managed to get it out you've got a few scratches there and there but yeah love 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 it comes with a long strap as well so you can wear it on the shoulder you can wear it crossbody I tend to do a top handle um yeah and I love the color as well very unusual slightly different to what I normally do so yeah another one I will not sell um ever <laughs> so that's the Todd's one the next one number 13 I think I think or 14 um, it would be the Gucci one so this one is Gucci Soho Disco um, got it in Selfridges um, it retailed for about 650 pounds but it was just after the price increase it used to be um, under 600 now i've checked just before this video it because it's a classic style still available in the beige color um it comes with black and and i think it comes in um red as well um retails for over 800 pounds ridiculous but anyway um apologies i think the video was too long so it started cutting it off so anyway um i i took uh, a long time to get used to this bag and learn to love this bag and I do I use it a lot it's a very casual bag and um, when I bought it obviously I bought it I liked it enough to buy it but when I bought it I had another bag in mine which is this one that I bought quite some time after I bought this one um, and if if I was to recommend one, I probably would go for this one, which is which was my next purchase. I didn't know it wasn't my next purchase. But anyway, um, I've jumped. And um, if I was to recommend, I probably go with Chloe over Gucci. But this one is slightly more expensive, only because um, this one is like a day to night bag, whereas this one is more casual bag. So so yeah. But anyway, um, just on a side note, still a good bag would recommend so and um, was number whatever number it was the next one um the next one i i've lost my track now uh, i think it would have to be this one so this one is another gray bag and, and as you can see i've got a thing for gray bag um it's the bottega veneta um sort of a backed bag or um 
yeah, I got it in Vista Village again. I fall in love with the grey colour um, and the, just sort of a craftsmanship of the bag. It's a very simple design. Just open it like so and it's just like that. And nothing, nothing too complicated. But I do use this bag for work a lot and uh, mainly summertime. Um, it's a more delicate bag and um, you have to be kind of careful um, I think in one or two places um, it starts to um, get damaged because of how delicate it is but I love Bottega Veneta and style and it's not for everybody but I just appreciate the craftsmanship and how understated it is and yeah it, it was a very expensive bag I'm not going to lie it was well over a thousand pounds so if you, you know, if, if you're not in those kind of things, um, yeah, but it was, even with a discount, it was a very expensive bag, but I do like it a lot. So, yes, yeah, stays with me again. And the next one, the next one will definitely be this one. So, this one is a wallet on chain, and I've done the whole video about it. I got it as a wedding gift from my husband and um, we got it in Heathrow. This one is a camellia style uh, with a uh, um, silver hardware. It's got a beautiful like a, a blue lining or silverish lining. Um, it retailed for about £1,200. I got it um, Heathrow price so I got a little bit of a discount. Now they are in excess of £1,700 which again uh, it's only been two and a half years, um, but um, they went in price massively. And um, it's a lambskin, so it's a quite a delicate bag, and it's probably one of my most delicate bags. Um, I had a little bit of an incident with a chewing gum. If you're interested, check out the story. Managed to get it out, so not as as scary as people say it, it is. If you look after lambskin, it will pay off, um, and I would still recommend. Um, yeah. Love, love, love holds a lot of memories, one part with this bag ever. Okay, so that's the um, that's the Chanel. And I think the next one would have to be this one, number 17 or 18. It's the Antigona Givenchy. I got as a Christmas present from my husband. Um, again, absolutely favorite of mine. Uh, I'm just looking and the battery will die. In a minute so um, absolutely long favorite of mine I've been using it for years now and um, and yeah um, on the heavy side again I've done a video if you're interested um, I'm going to link it down below it gone in a price since I got it but I um, would definitely recommend it it's a medium size again with the silver hardware smooth leather wears perfectly no marks no scratches 100% 100% a must for me and we're nearly there we're nearly there uh round one and another one and i think that's it so just two more bags so very quickly um chloe drew in a mini size i've unboxed it on this on this channel and um, very very um classic well very very used bag for me day to night summertime used it all the time would recommend it it's got a very very bright gold hardware which i don't normally use or don't normally do but um somehow i don't mind it on this bag and um and yeah and the most recent one is this one um, and that's a diorama that was a gift from myself to myself at uh, christmas time and this one is in again in a grey colour, but much more colder grey if you compare it uh, with the champagne hardware. The craftsmanship on this bag is just absolutely exceptional. Um, very expensive bag, I do know. I was debating hard and low what to get. I had a budget in mind. I knew I've tried a number of bags and I'm going to you know link the videos if you're interested as well but um once i've tried this one on even the salesperson this is the bag for you and again it's another gray bag but um i just absolutely adore it and and yeah would not part my ways with it um it's still amount and the same amount of money as i paid for it it's not available this particular color very classic and um, your color is not available online but um, it's definitely available in the boutiques and I've used the one in Manchester which I would 
recommend 100%. So yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully this video hasn't been too long. It's a complete mess now. Um, let me know which of the bags you like, which one you don't, which one you would invest, which one would you be interested. Um, if there's any of the bags that you would like me to do a review on, um, let me know. And yeah, I think out of all of the bags that I showed you, uh, the Michael Kors one, which is my first one, uh, is the only one I probably consider selling. So, um, so yeah, not bad at all. I think it should be about 20, 20, I think 20 bags in here, maybe a little bit, I think less or more. Um, I'll, I'll count them and I'll list all of them below. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to check uh, out my um, blog and subscribe and check out my Instagram for more fashion and beauty and travel content. And, and yeah, thank you very much and I hope to see you soon.